Number one, select the color that you want and then fill this with yeah. thin. Have a highlight color. Make some random dots in your hair. On this on a straight line. Select a shadow color. Draw two lines next to the borders. Make them as straight as I am. Perfect. Go to your texture parameters and make sure you select one hair type. Put the width all the way to the left and then with the offset button, match the shadows where you want them to be. Do that with every strand of hair that you have. There you go, that's pretty. That's very pretty and very easy. Number two. Go to export and export your layer, whatever you want. Go to your trusty drawing program and open the file. Grab the color that you want and fill everything in. With the last tool, you draw some happy little trees. And you do that as many times as it takes for you to forget that this forestation is a thing. Go to your spray tool and spray glitter on it. Not too much though. It has to be tasteful. Tasteful amount of glitter. Mm, yeah, that's right. Export your file as a PNG. Go back to your program and import it in. And voila, beautiful hair. In your highlight layer, take some opposite colors that are still in your design and scribble some lines. Make sure to uncheck the color calibration for the highlights. Realize that you fucked yeah. up and hide the highlights. Add a new layer and draw lines. Add another color. Make more stripes. With the color you had selected, also put a bunch of dots randomly. Done. Confetti here. Number three, go back to your drawing program. Take a white color. Don't spray sparkles on it. Make sure you fill the whole thing in. With your airbrush, brush some color pops in it. it can be a bunch of them. Don't have to stick to only one. it like you did the other one go back to your bureau and import it add a new layer set it to hello excuse me excuse me hello hello you see this set it set it to multiply take a a color for the shadows and make yet again very straight lines add some little tiny stripes to your straight lines to make more to make it more interesting set the layer opacity down go back to your to your texture parameters and do the same thing you did in the first step when you did try out the first um the 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 the, 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 the first step because you did that. Fiddle around with it until until it, it looks right. Remember that you need to do highlights. Make a new layer and draw in with the airbrush like a like a moon shape thing go to your brush go to the hard brush and brush down the softer upper part go back to your uh soft brush still with the eraser and erase a little bit of it make it like a triangle make it like a like a panty shape go back to your parameters and 
then fix whatever inconsistency you have if you want to put it a little bit more up it's the highlight position if you don't have the right correct number you can also like try to put it in and then you end with something like this and number four find a reference picture of a hair texture that you really really enjoy take the sore models as an example start studying it from main colors gradients highlights shadow colors shape of the shadow colors and uh, other special colors you have go to your uh, block of cheese i mean a uh, block of uh hair texture and replicate that bitch with uh preferably your own colors we first put some gradient down as like a lighter gradient because as you can see there's the main color and it goes down to a lighter one if we look at the shadows you can see there is like a very dark color with some little stripes in it and we can emulate that your um hair texture will be on like kind of like of a cylinder shape so when you do the hair texture it's it's not gonna be flat on a flat surface it, it's gonna be on a curved surface so you have to think in 3d you have to think how would i paint this on a curved object how we do that we make our straight lines into curves too as you can see there are also like tiny like stripes in it if you look down here you can see there is also like little little shadows and we can also emulate that the highlights here i kind of like in a parallel tap parallelogram maybe i don't know but if you look at the shape if you look at the shape the shape was kind of it's kind of like this okay oh, let's take a very very light color the shape the shape is kind of like this it's a it's a bridge If you look back at it at the ends a lot of those strands have like a pinkish color usually what i also do is uh, go to the skin color and then i put the skin color on the bottom export it once again and import the new one go to your go to your hair parameters again like your texture parameters and Play around with it again until it looks like you want it to look like. Now, if you go back and look at the sewer models, you can see that. If you go back to the sewer models, you can see that there is not only one hair like strand texture. There are multiples of it. Uh, if you want to be fancy and extra and make your model look absolutely poggers, you would also do that in B-Roid. That's how you do hair textures. <laughs>